Hey guys, um, it's just me again, and this time I'm going to work on um, one of these amortization um, questions. And what I'm going to focus on first is um, calculating the payment um, based on an interest rate, uh, term of loan, etc. Alright, so what we've got to do is we've got to do a little bit of prep work first. Um, and the prep work that we've got to do is getting this information over here, purchase price, interest rate, term of loan, converted into the way we need it so that we can get it into the calculator. All right, so if I can get my pen to work this morning. There we go. All right, so what I've got is I've got a purchase price over here of $500,000, which can go just like it is, but I've got an interest rate of 9.125. What I've got to do is in order to get it into this key over here, the interest rate, I've got to divide that by 12 to come up with a period interest rate. So I'm going to take... 9.25 divided by 12, what I end up with is 0 0.7708. So that's what I'm going to end up using here is 0 0.7708 as my interest rate. Now my term of loan is 15 years, except what I need to do now is I need to do the same thing, except instead of divide by 12, I need to multiply by 12 to figure out how many periods that is and what I know is that 15 years a 15 year loan is the equivalent of 180 payments so for interest rate divide by 12 term of loan multiply by 12 now that I've got that done um, I can go ahead and begin to solve so I'm going to go over to my calculator, and I'm always going to do the same thing. I'm going to go second, clear time value of money, second, clear work, and clear to make sure I don't have anything stuck in my calculator. I'm going to begin to work across on my time value of money keys. N is the term of the loan, or the number of payments, which is going to be 180 months. My interest rate is going to be that monthly interest rate, so I'm going to put in 0 0.7708 as my interest rate. The present value is the initial purchase price of $500,000. It's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to hit present value. Payment is what I'm going to calculate and then Future value, since I'm going to pay my loan off in full, is going to be zero. So now what I have to do is I have to compute my payment. And since a payment is an outflow, meaning I'm going to write a check for it, it comes up as a negative. So what I know is if I borrow $500,000 at 9.25% for 15 years, I will end up with a monthly payment of five thousand one hundred forty five dollars and eighty four cents 